Good morning and welcome to our Friday Assembly. We would like to recognize and acknowledge the Songhees and the Squamalt nations on whose traditional lands we live, work, play, and learn. Please stand for O Canada and the School Song. Now cover your ears because it's time for Friday Morning Online. Hi, my name is Shire. And my name is Gabby. Welcome to our Grade 3 Assembly. This term we learned about how culture shapes society and their future. And we hope you enjoy hearing about our learning journey. At the beginning of our unit, we brainstorm what makes Kana scan us. We came up with so many ideas like having nice teachers, cool playgrounds, and being at the beach. Mr. Holton met us on the mountain and spoke to us about our culture at GNS. He was really funny and reminded us that GNS is all about community. In art, we make culture collages. Ms. Fletcher introduced the activity using the book, We Are All Connected, about how visual symbols create a powerful connection to our cultures. We first added, we first made a border with symbols of things that are important to us and added black and white photos of our families, our grandparents, or other special relatives. You will see all the grade three's culture collages throughout our assembly presentation. We read an amazing story about a First Nations boy named Watlakina who witnessed his first potlatch. Having special ceremonies was against the law, so they had to have their potlatch secretly. This story was a wonderful way for us to learn more about the First Nations culture and the importance of passing down knowledge and traditions. We learned about where our name came from, the meaning of a name, and who we are named after. My name is Nick Malcolm. My name came from Saudi Arabia. It means gift from God heard by God. My parents name is Ismail because the leopard is a great sacrifice. My name is Oliver John Story. In England, it means ancestors descent, and in Germany, it means warrior elf. My middle name is after both my grandfathers who were named John. My nickname is Ollie. My name is Leontio and I have and I was named after my grandfather. Leo means lion, Dai means to lead, Tiampo means temple, and, and Chua Tiampo is our family name. we learned a greeting song from Africa. In the song, there are three languages, French, English, and African. Another song that we learned is an African drumming song. More instruments that we used were drums, mini drums, and shakers. Here are a few clips of our cultural music. <laughs>
As our summative project, we decorated shoe boxes with symbols from our culture. Then we chose three special items from home to put in our culture boxes to pass down to future generations. This project was so much fun because we got to be super creative and think of special items that we would want our great grandchildren to have so they can learn about their culture. Amy and Shay are here to share theirs. It was so fun making my culture box. I decorated it with red, yellow, and orange paper, and I cut out letters that spelled China. In my culture box, I included three items that I want to pass down to future generations. My first item was a lotus flower lantern. I chose it because it is a traditional flower of China. In my culture box, box I included three items that I want to pass down to future generations. My first item was a box that is from Lithuania and that was my mom's grandmother's box. I chose it because it is really special to me. My next item is a bracelet that is from Lithuania and used to be my mom's grandmother's bracelet. I chose it because it has amber on it and um, amber is popular in Lithuania. We made a dance for the sun and the moon. Alora and I are the children, Ryder is the moon, and James is the sun. In this legend, the sun and moon are in love. I hope you enjoy our dance. Mr. Bowers, do you have any announcements? Hi, Mr. Bowers. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Happy summer term. Yes, uh, how was your Easter? It was so great. The Easter Bunny brought me four bananas. No. I'm so lucky. With Yay. chocolate on them, I bet. Chocolate covered bananas. How did you guess? <laughs> now, Mr. Bowers, yes. look at this grass. I know. I want to go Mr. running <laughs> across it. No, Mr. What? Monkey. What? You don't go. What did the sign say, Mr. Monkey? It says Western Turf. It does Oh. <laughs> Please keep off the ah, grass. When can I play on the grass? Very soon, Mr. Monkey, when we've got to the okay from Mrs. Bigelow. Oh, you know what I heard her saying? She has to wait till the roots take hold. That's and right. it might be a few weeks before we can get on this grass. But I can't wait. You can be it's patient. It's so exciting. And look at all that garden. And I can, can I play in the garden? Definitely not, Mr. Monkey. Those are planted and you can't go running in gardens. Oh. But we'll, we'll be there soon. But is there anything else like, I don't know, a sandbox a to play in? <laughs> there is a sandbox you can play. And right behind you, Mr. Monkey, which is going to be cordoned off, over there. we're going to have a sandbox for you to go around playing in. Okay, thanks, Mr. Bun uh, Mr. Bowers. I really appreciate this. And I also know it's low tide season, so we can look under rocks at the beach, right? Nice. But remember, think two fingers on the crabs so or the thumb and the finger. If you can do that, Mr. Monkey. <laughs> Thank you and have a fantastic weekend everyone.